Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you are well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at why are your ancestors proud of you? So I am extremely excited about this. I feel like this is just going to be a really um, interesting, interesting reading to do. And I definitely have been feeling like everybody has been or a lot of my clients anyways, they've been sort of struggling to feel good about themselves and good about what they have been accomplishing and doing. So I'm really excited about this. You can pick one pile, pick all three piles if you need, um, but we will have three different piles to choose from. Pile number one, we have this Yamaya statue. Pile number two, we have this Kishar. This is grounding oil. Pile number three, we have the bell. If you did need some additional time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Hello, pile one. How are you? If you chose the statue here of Yamaya, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a huge pleasure and a blessing to connect with you. Just gonna go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number one who chose the Yamaya statue? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile one so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep pile one safe, protected, and guided. In specific, we ask that the ancestors come forth here to share what they feel is necessary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We do love and appreciate you so much. Okay, um, pile number one. One of the things that is right away coming through is they're very much proud of your ability here to choose a partner that you actually like. There's like this energy of like, they would like to pursue, to encourage you to pursue your heart when it comes to choosing a lover that you actually want to be with. This means to me, I feel like some of your ancestors may have just felt like they didn't have a chance to pursue who they actually wanted to be with romantically. Your ancestors are also proud of you for budgeting or I'm hearing someone here could be trying to budget or get on a budget. Congratulations, it's really hard, I know. I'm really proud of you for doing that. Your ancestors are also proud of you for taking rest or some of you just need to take additional rest right now. This is especially important for those of you who have been pushing a lot. You've been feeling like nothing is happening. It's almost like you're not giving yourself um, like a chance to manifest because you're so actively trying to make things happen. So I am hearing from your ancestors that some of you need to actually take a more passive approach, which is kind of interesting. Okay, very, very interesting. Okay, Spirit, thank you for that. What do we need to know here, Spirit, regarding this? Pile number one, what are you proud of, ancestors? What are you most proud of pile one for? We have nine of cups and we have 10 of cups. Yeah, okay, so for some of you, you are definitely meant to be in a very healthy, loving, and fulfilling connection. And one of the things that's coming through here is like, this is exactly what you need to be doing. Like you are being encouraged to remember how incredible and beautiful and worthy you actually are. And your ancestors are encouraging you to follow your heart at all possibilities. Even for those of you who aren't in like romantic situations, there's just this energy of trusting yourself, following your heart and letting your, your heart and your spirit really lead the way. This is incredibly important because I feel like, again, there was this history of maybe not being able to do that. So they're very, very proud of you for having this energy of being able to be emotionally following through on what you feel is necessary for yourself. We have the fool. We have judgment. Your ancestors are also extremely proud of you for being able to take leaps of faith without caring very much about what other people think about you. I feel like they're very proud of some of the work that you've accomplished, especially when it comes to following your heart, even if it doesn't really make sense to others. They've noticed how much work you've put in here into 
um, exploring the world, exploring yourself, even getting to know who you really are. And they're incredibly proud of all of that because I feel like they are very much living vicariously through you. And they're proud of your ability here to just um, take the leap of faith. Even if nobody has your back, you always just trust that things are going to work out perfectly. Tell me what else here, Spirit. We have leadership. They're very proud of your ability as well to be a leader. I feel like some of you, because you are so heart-centered, you're following through and making very smart decisions for yourself because of this heart-centeredness. And your spiritual team is really very pleased with this because they feel like you are someone who's constantly working on growth and abundance and beauty. And you are a leader. Whether you want to admit it or not, you are definitely a leader. And you've put in a lot of work to be in this um, type of vibration. They're proud of your ability to lead, you know, your ancestry into a healthier space as well. We have parenting. For those of you who are parents here too, they are extremely proud of your ability here to parent your children. I feel like you guys have definitely departed from maybe how you know, you were raised or what you felt was necessary. And because of this, you're now in a different space where you are so um, kind and loving. Some of you are also reparenting yourself. And I feel like that's another thing coming through. There's a lot of um, care and uh, surprise in how well you are doing that. I think overall, you're being seen as someone who has a lot of potential here to be healthy and to create things that are really healthy. I'm noticing right now that there's a bird on my balcony and it's having a hard time figuring out how to get off. So for some of you, you really could have like figured the way out. Okay, hold on, you guys. I got to fix this. I'll be back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, sorry about that. I had to figure out how to let that bird escape. Um, but it's interesting to me too, because again, I always feel like everything is, you know, interrelated. So I feel for some of you, you were able to break free of a confine that um, maybe your ancestors were not able to do. Because of that, they're very proud of you for your ability to change and to figure things out. Um, Yeah, there's just like this excitement that you were able to break free from a cycle. Tell me what else, please. I release all negative beliefs that no longer serve me, creating space for positive and empowering thoughts to flourish within me. Yeah, some of you guys have been doing a really wonderful time at breaking free from the past in order to move into the future. I feel like you guys have um, decided to let go of a lot of the beliefs that maybe you were raised with and you are moving into a space of just getting ready <clears throat> to create new paradigms for yourself that are healthier could create new paradigms that make more sense to you and to create new like approaches to the way that you want to live your life and so there's just a lot of like really positive energy around your ability to grow we also have i'm a magnet for positive experiences that effortlessly flow into my life bringing me endless joy and fulfillment yeah they're very happy because you have had a lot of fun with your life and that's something that they're looking forward to as well. It's like they're living vicariously through you. So, you know, if you ever feel guilty or anything like this for having fun, please don't because I feel like you're having fun not just for yourself, but also for those ancestors that maybe were not able to have fun, right? Um, so they're really enjoying, you know, seeing what you're doing next and seeing how much fun and excitement you're actually able to have. I feel like they think it's just fabulous and they want to encourage you to continue to do that. Just think that that's very sweet, but that is coming through. 
What else here? What are their ancestors proud of them for, for Pile 1? Review your responsibilities. Not all responsibilities are ours to hold. I feel for this group, you guys have done some tremendous work in letting go of, you know, maybe the kind of conception of what you should have been doing. Some of you have cleared, you know, karmic responsibilities. You've cleared ancestral responsibilities. And because of this, you're moving into a energy of just being in a different state overall where you're deciding, you know, I'm not going to hold that anymore. I'm going to let this go and I'm going to move into something new. And I think that that's really a very beautiful um, approach to take. So they're very, very proud of you for this, for letting, being able to sort of let go of the things that no longer serve you. What else here? I love this. It's time to celebrate, cultivate an air of celebration today. I just feel like one of the best things that they are really proud of you for is like just being able to enjoy your life because I feel, you know, this is something that these ancestors in particular might not have had that luxury to do. So they really want to continue to express that they are um, definitely encouraging you to continue to celebrate and have fun and just do what you feel like you need to do because it is very much something that they are appreciating, you know, the ability that you have to just enjoy your life. I think that's so, so, so crucial and very underrated, by the way. So yes, that's what I have, Pile One. What a beautiful reading. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. As always, it's such a pleasure to connect. Um, continue to follow your heart. You are really doing some amazing work when you when you do things like that so there's just a lot of appreciation coming through for you okay pile two hello if you chose the kishar grounding oil then this is your reading welcome i hope you're well and i hope you're having a fantastic day just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy before i begin spirit can you please help me to connect to the energy Pile number two, who chose the Kishar grounding oil. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for her. For her? Why did I say that? <laughs> That's weird. Maybe a lot of you are hers here for uh, pile two so that they're able to, you know, receive the information that they need to receive. In particular, we're asking for the ancestors to come in and to give us anything that you want uh, pile two to know. We want to say as well, thank you so much for everything you do. We really do appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's interesting that um, I said her. So for some of you, maybe your ancestor that you wanted to connect to is a her. Um, I'm hearing that they're very proud of you for being active. There's this energy that you have been really working very hard on your ability to be kind of in this like active energy where you work on yourself, you work on your health. And this is just something that's very much um, encouraged and very much blessed, especially for those ancestors that maybe were not able to have the vibration that you were able to have in terms of um, actually being able to commit to their bodies. Some of you could have kicked an addiction, specifically smoking. This could also be alcohol, um, and there's a lot of pride about this. Keep seeing your ancestors like shrouded in white clothing. So this could be like a cultural thing. Whenever I see a lot of white around a person's like aura or energy, I know that that person is extremely protected. So this could be the case too, that your ancestors are now in a lot better of a space and they are being very protected. Pile number two, please. Ancestors, what are you proud of pile two for? Seven of wands. You're the five of swords in reverse. They're proud of you for defending yourself against people who just are not there for you. Like for some of you, you could have even had to defend yourself from like your family members. Like some of you could have been fighting here with your actual family, but there's just like this willingness to do something different and to be different and to stand firm in that um, belief that, you know, it's okay that I'm different. I don't need to be like everybody else. I can be like myself. Some of you here may be, um, you know, pushing, pushing boundaries in terms of like who you are in general and your ancestors are very proud to see you be like this. They also are really proud that you've managed to walk away from connections that don't um, serve you or people that don't serve you, you know, just kind of creating this energy of 
moving away from people who just are not there for you anymore. Also forgiveness. Some of you have really worked hard on forgiveness. Pile number two, please. Why are their ancestors proud of them? Ten of Pentacles. Why are their ancestors proud of them, please? We have the two of wands. Some of you are really um, actioning something that you want to accomplish and that they're very proud of you for that, especially in regards to your wealth. So you might have like a, a five-year plan or some kind of major wealth goals that you're looking to you know, achieve. There's a lot of respect for you for being able to sort of tackle this. Um, some of you do really take care of other people too. So your ancestors are very proud of you for doing that. I feel like there's this energy of really wanting um, you to succeed. So I feel if you've been, you know, wondering if your ancestors support you in terms of your goals, the answer is absolutely yes. Not only that, but I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if they were opening up possibilities for you to achieve this wealth. Tell me what else, please. Pound number two. Why are their ancestors proud of them? We have environment and we have self-discipline. I love this. Pile two, for many of you here, you've worked extremely hard to be able to create a healthy environment for yourself. So you are a very disciplined person as well and you tend to work out or work very much um, on your day-to-day -day in terms of being able to elevate your home and your space. Some of you have really cultivated a very beautiful environment for yourself at home. There's a lot of respect for you. Um, and for being able to do that, especially if you have a home that is like peaceful, your ancestors really appreciate this and they like to hang out with you in your home, whether you know it or not, that's what they're saying to me. So, so for some of you, you might have some ancestors who just like to be in your space because they feel very like at um, ease when they're with you. I think that's pretty beautiful. There's a lot of love for you, like a lot of love for you. And I just feel like they are really proud of you for continuing to push forward on your goals. Um, so if you have been feeling, you know, a little bit of lackluster energy, you are definitely being supported to continue on this. But cultivating a nice environment too is something that your ancestors are very, very proud of you for being able to do. Pile number two, please. Why are their ancestors proud of them? Why are their ancestors proud of pile two? I allow myself to feel worthy and abundant. I'm worthy of great success and prosperity. Yeah, I love this. I feel like some of you are meant to achieve quite a lot in terms of um, wealth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's like this energy of like you guys were able to break through financial like barriers or something in order to achieve what you achieved and you're ushering in so much abundance for yourself that there's this really beautiful um and excited energy that you're able to have this They're really proud of your ability to make and earn money. What else? I am successful in all I do and the universe constantly delivers exactly what I need. Everything's always working out for me. Yeah, you guys are just very like much. When you have a plan in your, in your head, you tend to just go out and accomplish it. Your ancestors are really proud of you for everything that you've been able to do around that. They have really... Um, seen you flourish in so many you know unique ways and there's just a lot of appreciation for how hard you've worked to, to be able to elevate to the standard of where you are um, currently at and i feel like this is something that your ancestors just are really in awe of your ability to you know really make and earn money but also to just feel good about yourself and to attract this sort of like vibrational frequency of joy and abundance because they're really, really proud of you for being able to um, hustle so much. Like they, they, are, they really are in awe. 
Pile number two, please. Messages from their ancestors, or not messages. What are their ancestors proud of, please? It's never truly the end. Beloved, in this, everything will be okay. I'm hearing the sirens in the background. Look, some of you have gone through a shit ton of things. Like you guys have really had some difficult moments. And one of the things that your ancestors are really proud of you um, for doing is just working really hard on being able to work through the discomfort and move into a healthier space. There's so much appreciation for you for being able to do this. And I just feel like that's really something that's coming through. This appreciation and this like care for you. They've seen you kind of pull your step self up by your bootstraps. What else? A time to remember, look back on your childhood. Yeah, I feel like you might not have had like the easiest childhood growing up. And because of that, you're really, really able to come into a new understanding of like how you wanted your life to be. And you've created something that's so different. Your spiritual team is very, very proud of you and your ancestors are proud of you for being able to look at things in a different way and decide like, you know what, I'm going to move forward and be in a different type of energy than where I am coming from. I think that that's a really beautiful, beautiful um, thing that I need you to know is like, yeah, you're really being encouraged to continue to move forward. Um, and they, they really admire your ability to continue to let go of the past and move towards the future. So that's what I have, pal, to beautiful, beautiful energies today. I'm really proud of you as well. I will just say, like, if you haven't already achieved, you know, this big financial success, it's definitely coming. So just keep that in mind. You're meant to be quite successful. It's part of your um, path here. Hi, Pile 3. How are you? If you chose the bell, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well, and I hope you're having a great day. Just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of Pile number 3 who chose the bell? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pile 3 so that they can have the best possible reading. We also ask for the ancestors to come through and to help us connect. Anything that needs to be said, please bring it up. We appreciate you so much. We appreciate everything that you do so much as well. Just wanted to say a big thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. Okay, um, I'm hearing for this group, you guys might have gone through some pretty unpleasant circumstances when you were growing up. So there's definitely something here that um, was really hard for you guys to overcome. And your ancestors are proud of you for overcoming it. Some of you could have come from like a farming background. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. I'm getting farming. And you've really been working hard on um, moving into like even like a more educated state. So for some of you, you might be like the most educated person in your family. I'm also being shown a bank account statement. Um, so for some of you, you do have just a lot of wealth coming in and there's a lot of appreciation for you for being able to accumulate wealth, especially when this could have been, you know, maybe an issue from the past. I feel like you've just um, cleared a lot of karma actually for your family, whether you're doing this consciously or not. I can really feel that. I feel like you've really managed to let go of um, some of this anxiety or pain from the past. It's like you, you've you transmuted it in a way. And there's a lot of um, respect for you for being able to do that because it hasn't always been easy. Interesting. Very, very Interesting. Okay, what else do we need to know, please? Pile number three. Why are the ancestors so proud of pile three? Why are they so proud of pile three, please? Why are they so proud of pile three, please? Thank you. We have the moon in reverse. Ten of cups. Some of you have...
have been able to overcome um, some pretty gnarly childhood things. Some of you were also able to overcome like a difficult connection here with your mom or with, you know, a family member. I feel like this is something I want you to be aware of as well. Um, if you have you managed to sort of like come out of something on the other side, your ancestors are extremely proud of you and they just want you to know this. They've noticed how much work it's been for you. They know it's not been easy. Others of you are actually learning to like live with a specific psychic gift that you have. Some of you could actually have like psychic skills running in your family, but you could be the first person to actually be able to like openly acknowledge it. Um, there's a lot of like respect for you because of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel for others of you, you have just decided to work with your heart and to follow through on who it is that you want and what it is that you want. You've been putting forward a lot of effort on trusting the process and on trusting that good things can and do happen to you. And because of that, you've overcome a lot of fears. Some of you have overcome like even like depression or anxiety. Pile through, please. Why are the ancestors so proud of them? We have the moon again. Dang. Yeah, for those of you who are battling with some sort of mental health issue, your ancestors are very proud of you and they are acknowledging the work you've been putting in. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. You guys are also really... Um, learning how to let go of things that don't resonate with you. You're learning how to release things from the past that don't resonate with you anymore. And this is something that's paying off for you as well. You have decided to not um, worry too much about things that you can't control. And you've decided to let go of people from the past that just simply do not, cannot, I guess, give you what it is that you want. So yeah, you're moving into this really beautiful um, energy of attracting higher vibrational people towards you and your ancestors are really proud of you for your mental health um work they know that it's not been easy we have challenging times yeah for some of you you've really overcome a lot you could still be in the process of working on it and that's okay that's okay right like sometimes we just need to remember to do the work i feel like you guys are very much being protected as you step into the next kind of stage of your life so please just be aware of that your ancestors aren't going to let you go through a same kind of experience like what you already went through is what they want me to say here they have completion yeah like it's like you're wrapping up a cycle here and if your ancestor or if there was some someone in your family that contributed to this pain there is an apology coming forward okay i just heard i'm sorry so someone does want to apologize for, you know, um, how they could have potentially hurt you or brought you down. That was not their intention. And they are very apologetic for this. They want you to know that as you move forward. But yeah, you've been through a lot and you've, you're still standing, essentially. They're very proud of you for that. Pile number three, please. Why are their ancestors proud of them? I'm confident in my abilities. I know I can handle anything that comes my way. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, you definitely have um, some sort of psychic gift that you are now starting to really realize and work with. And your spiritual team is very proud of you for this because it's not easy, especially if you haven't sort of been trained on how to work with your gifts to, to deal with them. And so there's a lot of appreciation for you and for the work that you've been doing on you know, really being able to feel more confident in sharing your gift with the world. So you should be very proud of yourself because I know that that's not always easy work, um, but it is always important work. What else here? I easily access my inner guidance when I need it. I totally trust in my ability to face all of life's challenges. We have challenge coming through twice. So I do want you guys to know that you have a ton of support in terms of being able to move into a more healthy space with um, with your ancestors by your side protecting you. Um, and they are wanting you to know that they're really just impressed with the way that you were able to handle some of these challenges. It's not always been easy for you and they really do love and appreciate you so much. 
They just really want you to know that. They will always be there for you as well as you kind of go through the next few steps. They're not going anywhere. What else, please? Pile three, what are they proud of them for? What are Pile three's ancestors proud of Pile three for? Do what you need to do. It may be difficult, but now is the time. Yeah, I feel for this group. You guys have just been through a lot, like a lot. And I'm so sorry that this has had to happen for you. I really am. I just wanted to, I just want to wrap my arms around you and give you a big hug. Um, because I can sense how difficult it's been. But yeah, one of the things that Spirit's really saying is like, they love and appreciate you so much. And they are going to be assisting you in terms of being able to, you know, move into a, a healthier space. But yeah, they've seen you made some make some difficult decisions and they're really proud of you. Be true to who you are. Fear will not stop you from shining. And even because of that, even though you've been through so much, you still are, you know, really committed to being yourself and to shining your light and to just being authentic. And that is just such a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, there's so much respect coming through for you and your ability to just make healthy choices and decisions um, that I just want you to know your, your spiritual team is really really at like in in awe of your ability to to accomplish things and to make things happen and there's a lot of appreciation for you your ancestors want you to never stop shining and to always be true to yourself and to share that that part of yourself as well with the world um, they just really do love you a lot so yes that is what i have i'm sending you a big hug I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great day. Um, take good care of yourselves, Pile 3, and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.